What up internet, TV Geek here with a recap on Life's Too Short. Now, I've been waiting a long time for this show. I am a huge RG fan. And lately, I've had to kind of be an apologist for Ricky. Well, the invention line wasn't with Steve. Cemetery Junction was a movie. They belong in television. But now there's no more excuses. So there was a lot writing on this premiere. God, I wanted to love it, and I just, I didn't. Like, I mean, there were parts I liked. Like, first of all, <laughs> when he got in that car and started driving it, like, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I was thinking, please show what's going on in that car, because I had no idea. If they go to the trouble to extend the pedals, wouldn't they just up the seat instead of having to go phone book style? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, here are my problems. The basic premise confuses me. So this is actually Warwick Davis. This is actually Ricky and Steve. This is their office. Warwick Davis seems to have the same career that he does in real life, except for it stopped after Willow. Because they make it out like he's not doing okay. Like he hasn't worked since the heyday of the 80s. The guy was in like every Harry Potter. I think he's doing all right. Like Warwick Davis is not hurting for roles enough to start a dwarves for hire. Warwick Davis speaking. It's ridiculous. And it's like we're hitting the same beats that we saw in The Office or in extras. And there's no heart to it, because just to build up to RG bringing in his celebrity friends so we can laugh for a few minutes. I'm a funny guy, aren't I? But I just want more from them. I wanted Tim and Dawn. And speaking of Cemetery Junction, I think that could have been a great TV show. And they were gonna make it as a series first. It was called The Men from the Crew or The PRU. I don't know, some British thing. But the fact is, like, that was gonna be a TV show. And I would love to see that. An original story that doesn't have to do with, like, celebrity cameos. I'm always making lists. Oh. oh, plus, okay, so that's their office, right? No, no. You can see in the back that there's an idiot abroad poster. That means that in this world, Carl Pilkington exists. And that means Carl's obsession with Warwick Davis exists. Or rather, Ricky's obsession with Carl being around Warwick. <laughs> okay, then they would have a little bit more reverence for Warwick Davis. Always okay. popping around for a chat. You are always but, popping around. But I just think they're better than this. David. I wasn't. I mean, but sometimes the show feels like it's in a real time warp. If you were to say, like, your name was, like, Vern Troyer, uh, I'd be like, boom, mini-me. What? That was, like, ten years ago. Warwick Davis is much more relevant than Vern Troyer. I mean, he, he, re he replaced Vern Troyer on Harry Potter. Oh, God. And then the moment that was too much for me was the self-congratulatory... Cancer, though, and AIDS and famine are just not really subjects for comedy. Well, how is he going to weapon than that? We don't know. Really? They're going to do that? <laughs> I just think it's getting quite heavy. I feel like I'm hating on the guy. I love RG. I love this merch. I am a huge, huge fan of these guys. Seven out of ten. That's the highest I can go. I mean, maybe it'll come around. And God, I hope so. <sighs> Resolve. <laughs>